He came from the shadows, from the chill of the night. What I heard were screams and whispers of a flight. He pinned them on the walls, on the doors, on the wards. Demons charged his ranks, but the hunter stood his guard. No words did he utter, but sang a song of bards. His speech was all restless, his mind calm and dark. When the night was all over, he rested his tireless string. His quiver was all empty, so he began to grin. What is your name, O ranger of the dark? Demon hunter is my trade, and death is my love. Hello everyone, I'm the Holy Hermit, and I'm glad to announce that days of culling are upon us again. Demon Hunter, a class considered weak, not suitable for MP10 solo farming, has regained life. In this video, I will showcase a build and a gear setup that allows one to farm MP10 solo. The same aspect of this build will allow Demon Hunter to farm lower MPs at elevated speed for one of the fastest ways to farm XP. For no more treading in the dark, here we begin. In the first section of this video, I will showcase the gear requirements for this build. A hunter is quick and agile, speed is what makes it unique, so the gear setup will involve a demon hunter with lots of attack speed. Survivability is another important aspect of this build, so according to your own limits, you can choose to farm MP6-9 to or MP10 itself. Higher MPs will of course require more defensive stats, but here is my summary of stats one needs. Vitality of 50k plus is needed till MP9 farming. MP10 will require a life around 58k plus to avoid one-shot deaths from monsters. All resistance is another important issue. 450 to 500 all res is great up to MP9 farming, but you'll be better off with 550 plus for MP10. In the end, a hunter is nothing without its bow, so we choose Calamity over a two-handed crossbow for increased attack speed. No need to worry about life leech. Try to obtain one with highest possible DPS, a socket and you will lead the vanguard in XP farming. A ruby will suit you more in your weapons for two reasons. One, your build benefits from your weapon damage rather than overall damage. And second, low crits mean you will not end up killing yourself when fighting an elite pack. In case you're wondering by now about life leech, let's just leave that to the build. Shadow Engineer, a master of the fine machines for demon hunting utilizes the following skills. Bowler shot with volatile explosive to share pain with everyone around you. Sentry's guardian turret to unleash a volley of arrows at mobs. Jagged spike from caltrops to maim enemies and harass their morale. Gloom with shadow power, a stable skill for leeching life back from enemies. Spike trap with scatter for more AOE coverage. The final slot can be filled according to your need. A few options are, bow companion for low all resistance. Walt with tumble for quick movement and quick escapes or smokescreen with choking gas for a stubborn elite or high HP foe. Passives are Night Stalker, Custom Engineer and Archery. How many bolts does a Demon Hunter carry? Let's find out in this section where I explain the build in more details. The way your character is geared, especially if you're after MP10 farming, is to attack fast and have a favorable amount of defensive skill. All obtainable through careful maneuvering in the auction house, of course. This leads to a Demon Hunter with high attack rate and equally impressive weapon damage thanks to Calamity. I personally had attack speed of around 3. So the build utilizes skills that deal damage based on your weapon. The train of thought when dealing with enemies is to find a sizable group of enemies and lead the attack by casting Shadow Power with Caltrops. Once in position, unleash the fury of your bowler shot to get everyone close. Next job is to cast 2 Spike Trap along with Sentry at your position. Custom Engineering extends your capabilities by allowing you to have 6 traps and 3 sentry turrets active at one time. So if you feel your position is being compromised, use Vault or Smokescreen to move away and follow the same process again. If you chose Boar as your companion, its presence alone in the battle will allow you to move with ease. You will attack fast, fast enough for the combination of Night Stalker and Archery to improve your critical hit chance, leading to more discipline generated during crits. One train of thought would be to practice this build on low MPs first. You must understand that discipline is a valuable resource and you will not benefit from spamming any skills. Shadow Power can stay active for 5 seconds and Caltrops for 6. Use them at the end of your cycle and you will have enough discipline if escape is needed at some instance. Keep your Shadow Power active. Cast your Spike Trap when the old ones explode. Keep attacking enemies with your bowler shot. 
When facing numerous enemies or elites, cast your sentries for maximal AoE coverage. So this is the build for you. A demon hunter that meets its targets head on and annihilates four before they have a chance to react. Give it a go and leave a comment sharing your thoughts. If you haven't, subscribe already to the channel for more builds and other gameplay videos. This has been the Holy Hermit for you. Take care of yourself and remember, a bow can pierce the flesh, a bolt can pierce an armor, but valor in battle can pierce the will of all.